Hi, my name is Elizabeth Krutz, and I won first place for Sports Feature Story with my documentary on Lance Armstrong. Lance won the Tour de France seven times starting in 1999 and this was such a huge deal for him to come back at 38. You know, he had been off cycling for three years. He had already made the comeback in 99 after testicular cancer. But now it was a different type of comeback. You know, he missed the sport. He wanted to bring global awareness to the Lance Armstrong Foundation. And really, to come back after three years, a lot of people doubted him, you know, questioned why. But he really, you know, didn't have anything to prove. Well, when Lance asked me to document the project, basically I said, when do we start? And he said, well, I'm going on a five hour ride tomorrow if you want to come along. And I said, absolutely. So, you know, got all my gear and hopped in the back of a pickup truck. And, and I was really excited to see, you know, I was looking for really the intensity or the I'm back, you know, when you go out with Lance, yes, I have an idea of what I'd like to get, but then you never know what's going to happen. So the face shot came about on the very first training ride that I went on with Lance. It was a five hour training ride, September 2009, and I was in the back of a pickup truck. I shoot with Canon Mark III 1DSs and a Canon Mark III, and I had my 16 to 35, my 300, and actually the 300 is what I use for that shot. And I'm in the back of the pickup truck, you know, trying to stable around these dirt roads in Austin, Texas, out kind of in dripping springs, and you know, nobody else is there so there are these rocky roads and I'm trying to steady myself and what's interesting about the face shot is that one image was what I was kind of wanting to get in during the training ride that I'm back you know here I come and you know out of the thousands of images I shot that day that was the one that I got I didn't get any other similar the frame after the frame before not even close and so I was so happy to get that image and to get that face and that er I'm back you know, the shot of him doing the clapping push-ups. I mean, his workouts were intense when he was working out in his home gym. And I wanted to show that as well, that, wow, you know, he is doing some hardcore off the bike workouts to get his body back in shape. Again, he's 38, he had been off for three years. You know, he knew that if he was gonna come back, it wasn't just to sit at the back of the Peloton. So we were in Hawaii training in January, 2010, and it's raining, it's you know, kind of a windy day out in Javi, and we're coming up and I'm shooting Lance outside of a car. Actually, I was, I was on a moto that day and it was raining and we were all kind of trying to cover up. I was trying to keep my lenses dry. And we come up and I see this woman on just a cruiser bike, you know, in her bikini and rain hat and flip flops. And Lance said, you know, was coming up, he said, I see this woman every day she's out here. Every year I'm training, she's out here riding. And he loved her. And it was just such a nice moment because they talked and I was shooting them as they were talking. But then as he took off, you know, she was like, go Lance. And I thought it was such a neat image. And it's one of his favorites too, because you know, here's Lance Armstrong, and then here's the everyday person that just loves to ride their bike. And, and he has that connection, you know, with just the everyday people. And that's why he has that, that it factor that people love, because he connects. He makes that connection not only with, you know, famous people, but with just your average Joe, too. The leg shot came about when we were in Monaco uh, on a training ride for the Tour de France, right before the Tour de France started. And, you know, I was shooting him all day. And then we got out and Lance was checking his bike with the mechanics. And I got out and I was just looking for something different. I'm always looking for a different angle, not just, you know, him on the bike and trying to tell the story. And, and I looked down and when I saw his leg and, you know, the way the light was hitting it, I just focused on that and I shot and I like how the other feet are in the picture too and you can totally tell it's Lance's leg and even after I took that shot and I was home I was back at the hotel working on it I sent it to him and, and he couldn't even believe it he said did you photoshop that and I said nope that's you I said okay maybe I'll use a little bit with the lighting to no but that's all you Drug testing is a big part of Lance's life and being a professional cyclist, which comes with the territory. And But when you're Lance Armstrong, you are drug tested a lot more than the average cyclist. And I think last year he was drug tested 52 times. 
more than any, I think it's safe to say that more than any athlete in any sport. So to be able to photograph not only a drug test, but Lance Armstrong being drug tested was a big deal. And so I knew that and the pressure, I put a lot of pressure on myself to get, you know, I wanted to get a really good image that really represented what he had to go through. And what was interesting is when the drug tester showed up and I was there with my camera and of course they don't wait. You, it happens like this, you go in and I had to make sure, you know, my batteries were charged. I had the, you know, enough memory. And so when we got into the bathroom, you know, I'm, I'm checking out the scene. I'm climbing in the tub to see. And at first they didn't want me to shoot. They said, no, she's out. And Lance said, oh no, she's staying. This is my urine. She's going to document this. And it was a little bit, we said, we won't show your face, we won't show the samples. We had done our, our research on what I could and couldn't do, so we were set. And um, then he said, okay, fine. So when then I'm in all shooting mode and I'm thinking about the lighting and because I love to shoot available light and do, did I have enough light to be make sure it was in focus? So I had my 16 to 35 on and it just worked beautiful and with the mirror and the doctor and the the drug tester there and and really what I didn't realize was how invasive it really is I thought okay he goes in he pees in a cup and but then not only is that they made him pull down his pants around his knees not only just down and then you know Lance had to get the sample and he had to put it all together and it was a process I mean it, it's a it's a lot more than I thought it was. So it was interesting for me to see that. The shot in the car was from the Tour de France and it was actually after the hardest stage, the Mont Ventoux stage, and I was at the finish because really I'm documenting Lance and doing this documentary, I had to be at the finish in case whatever happened. And actually two shots came from that day, the shot of Lance riding up behind. And I really wanted to show that he was getting stronger throughout the tour. And here was first place Contador, second place Andy Schleck, even though their heads aren't shown. You know that's them. And then you see Lance right there to show that, you know, after three years, this guy's still got it. And here he is. And so it, I think it was a really important day to document because it really proved that he was back and serious and he had what it took. So when we got to the car, we raced to the car and there's always a circus around Lance. And sometimes it gets a little scary because people are pushing and shoving and and we jumped in this little car. I mean, that car was tiny. And I'm sit you can't tell to get that shot in the car. I'm sitting on the lap of one of his security guards. The other one's trying to drive. And as you can see, the car is just being overrun by press and that's that's Lance's life. Well I am an athlete, grew up as an athlete. I'm the only girl on both sides of my family. I've been around sports and boys you know forever and, and Lance is um, like a third brother to me and so he was comfortable having me photograph him for a year. I mean it was a long documentary and a lot of personal moments, the birth of his son, um, Gosh, we spent a lot of time together. And so that says, you know, I, I balance my photography with my relationship with my, my subject. I think that's just as important with being a great photographer and getting great images. A lot of people ask me, you know, what's it like to work with Lance Armstrong? Is he, you know, did he, could you not shoot him at certain times? And really, it was a dream to, to photograph him because he is so comfortable with the camera. I really had full access and total creative freedom. I had been getting all these emails, congratulations from from my friends in, in Europe and I I was like, for for what? I didn't know I didn't know, you know, what if it was first place, second, third, what it was. I was just thrilled regardless. And then I saw the email from World Press and it said, Congratulations. And then I had to scroll down and it says, first prize and I just went, ah! just was so excited because it's really such an honor to be recognized with your colleagues and it's it was such a long year hard blood sweat and tears for sure and I'm so proud of the work and just means so much I'm just humbled and honored